Hi and welcome again to my YouTube channel where I normally provide you with job interview questions and answers. But today I am going to talk to you about a subject that is not much discussed. However, it is an extremely important subject as far as your professional careers is concerned. And the topic we are going to talk about is keywords and how keywords can help you in almost any aspect of your career progression or your job search. Talking about keywords generally would be an endless discussion. So I will be focusing only on talking about keywords related to jobs and your professional careers and how they can make a huge difference in helping you to achieve your career goals. I cannot emphasize the importance of keywords enough at every step that you take in finding a job or to move your career forward, starting from the basics of building up your online profile and personal brand right up to the preparation for a job interview. So listen carefully to the rest of the video and take notes if required. To give you a better understanding, let me break down of how you can maximize the benefits of using keywords at every step of your career journey. Here's what I'm going to cover during the talk today. Number one, keywords definition for those who are not very clear about them. Second, keywords for personal branding. Number three, using keywords in your resume or CV. Number four, finding keywords in job descriptions and job advertisements. And finally, using and practicing keywords in your job interview preparation. So let's begin by looking at the basic definition of what a keyword is. Keywords are particular words and phrases used by people whenever they want to search something online. A keyword can be a single word and even a set of words and phrases can be considered as keywords. I simply describe a keyword as a matchmaker. Let's talk about using keywords for your online profiles or for your personal branding. This could be job search engines or websites or professional networks where you can benefit from networking. My most preferred professional platform is of course LinkedIn, mainly because it's huge and it's still growing. And secondly, LinkedIn is purely a professional platform. The use of keywords in your profile means that you will be advertising your brand to exactly match what you're looking for as far as the job is concerned. In the same manner, headhunters and recruiters will be using keywords to find people who match the talent that they require. And that's why I consider keywords as matchmakers. Later in this video, I will provide you with a list of keywords that you can use in your profile to describe yourself, your qualifications and your skills. Next using keywords in your resume or CV. Even if you don't have an optimized and professional resume yet, you will already have many keywords mentioned in it. But what I want you to do is to have a look at your resume and improve on the keywords that you have used in it. Replace them with better and stronger keywords. The other thing that I want you to do before you send your resume for any job opening in future is to have a close look at the job requirement and update your resume to match the keywords mentioned in the JD of that position. Let's talk now about how best to use keywords in preparing for a job interview. Preparing the best answers about yourself, your skills and your experience is only part of the process of preparing for an interview. It is also very important for you to study and review the job description closely 
so you can easily quote the keywords and explain how your competencies and skills match the required job role. In the second part of this video, I am going to show you a live example of a job advertisement and how we are going to work on the keywords extracted from that job advertisement. I will then show you one of the best ways of identifying competency and skills keywords from the JD and what to do with them. And finally, I will share with you a list of 44 keywords that are both strong and unique. These are some of the keywords that I use for my clients when upgrading their resumes and profiles. I am sure you will find these keywords very useful based on your profession and the job that you would be applying for. Here we have a JD for an office manager position as an example. Now I tried to pick a general role for this example to make it easier for more people to understand. Let me inform you that this presentation is going to be quite lengthy and extensive, consisting of 14 pages. So you may need to grab a pen and paper to note down the most important points that we are going to go through. I am not showing you the complete job advertisement for this position, but I have only copied and pasted the roles, responsibilities, qualifications, skills and competencies required for this role which we will use in our example. Here is what you need to do. First, highlight all the keywords that you see in this JD just like I have highlighted them in yellow. These keywords could be related to your work experience or the skills and competencies that are mentioned for this job role. Let's move on to the next two pages of this JD. The keywords highlighted in red are actually core skills and not experience related keywords. The next step is very important. You should try and write down the keywords that relate to your experience separately and write down the keywords that are purely skills related separately. And when we talk about skills, always try to segregate hard skills from the soft skills. Let me briefly explain the differences between the two. You can consider hard skills to be skills attained through training reading or through practical experience of conducting any tasks or duties. Hard skills are also mostly measurable and tangible. Meanwhile, soft skills are skills that may not be measurable immediately and they may be part of our character and our nature. Let me provide you with an example of both types of skills. If I am an expert at a certain kind of computer programming, that will be considered as part of my hard skills as I have obtained it through some kind of training or self-learning. My level of expertise in that programming may be measurable. On the other hand, if I tell you I have strong leadership skills, you will not be able to measure those skills immediately until I am not able to demonstrate it practically. So skills like leadership skills, communication skills, are considered as soft skills. The main idea of separating keywords into experience and skills is to give you a better overall idea of where to mention which keywords, especially when you are updating your resume to match a particular job. In the next step, write down the keywords from the JD that we highlighted earlier related to your practical experience separately. Let me run through the keywords that we copied from this JD 
that are related to work experience. The first one, develop and implement administrative systems. Manage relationships with vendors and service providers. Issuance of contracts and agreements. Handle travel arrangements. Communication with customers and partners. Ensure computers and softwares are maintained. Develop and maintain the CRM. Issue invoices and collect payments. And managing the petty cash account. You will notice that these keywords are mostly related to functions or tasks that you might have performed in your previous jobs. Now we move on to segregating the skills into hard and soft skills. Have a look at the hard skills that I have extracted from this JD. Photoshop and basic HTML, good use of basic graphics software, excellent with the use of MS Office, excellent skills in using social networking. Next, we write down the soft skills keywords mentioned in the JD. Let me go through them quickly for you. Manage relationships with vendors and service providers. Communication with customers and partners. Planning and time management. Organizational and analytical. Communication. Work under pressure. Multitasking. Disciplined. Committed. And good interpersonal skills. You might have noticed that the first two soft skills that I have mentioned on this list of soft skills are also given in the experience keywords. This is okay to do because sometimes some skills can be included under your experience. This depends on what profession or field of work you belong to. Now let's have a look at some examples of how these keywords can be used in sentences. I will give you two examples of each. The first one is how to mention your experience in your resume which may also be copied onto your online profile. Example number one. As the administration manager during my last work experience, I was responsible for the issuance of contracts and agreements with vendors for supply of office equipment and machinery. So here we match the keywords issuing of contracts and agreements in your resume. Here is the second example to mention the keywords manage the petty cash. In my previous roles, during the absence of the accountant, I was entrusted with the responsibility of managing the office petty cash. Similarly, the skills can be mentioned either in sentences or just as hard and soft skills keywords under the relevant heading on your resume. The two examples of hard skills given here are good use of basic graphic software and excellent with the use of Microsoft Office. And for the soft skills keywords, we see the two sentences about managing relationships with vendors and service providers and working under pressure. Let us have a read together. Exceptional skills in building and maintaining customer and stakeholder relationships. And the second example, highly competent in working under time and workload pressure without compromising on the task result, timeline and quality. Please remember that segregating the keywords into skills and experience does not need to be a complicated process. All you need to do is to first highlight the keywords in the job description and then write them down into the three headings that we have seen here. Going through this exercise will not only ensure that your resume impresses the reader, but it will also ensure getting you a higher matching percentage through the ATS. Leave me a comment below if there is any clarification that you would like or if you have any question related to keywords. And finally, here is the list of 44 strong and unique keywords that you may use to update your resume and your profile.
I hope you found this video useful and informative. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and let me know if there is any topic related to jobs and careers that you would like me to provide you some information on. Until my next video, stay safe and healthy wherever you may be. Thank you.